I'd like to have you meet a terrific group of people. These people are a part of our new work in Irvine, California, and they are all excited about what God has already done and what he is going to do. Here's why. The city of Irvine is in Orange County where the Santa Ana, San Diego, and Newport freeways all come together. Irvine is the largest planned city in the United States and is a tremendous opportunity for the conference. Irvine will cover 100,000 acres from the mountains to the ocean. That's almost a quarter of the land in Orange County. Irvine has lots of room for people. This was incorporated only one year ago with 17,000 people. Today it already has 27,000 and all over Irvine tractors are moving dirt, carpenters are building homes, and developers are selling. In six years Irvine will grow to 150,000 people and in 25 years its projected population will grow to over 500,000. The Irvine Company, owners and developers of Irvine, have planned well. In fact, planning is the key. Recreational needs have been planned for, with each housing development having required parks and green belts. Each housing development also has swimming pools and recreational centers. Within the city is Lion Country Safari Land, Orange County International Raceway, golf courses, gun clubs, tennis courts, and of course, the Blue Pacific. The shopping needs have been planned for as well. Each village will have its own small shopping center, and for the shopping needs of the city, larger centers will be built, like Fashion Island, pictured here. Employment needs have also been planned for. Irvine will have two large industrial complexes. Already such companies as Parker Hannifin, Xerox, Ford Philco, and Collins Radio have located in the city. Needs for air travel are also planned for. The Orange County Airport is available for businessmen as well as the residents of Irvine. Last year, Orange County Airport was the second busiest airport in the United States. Only Chicago's O'Hare Field was busier. Irvine has also planned well for schools. At present, there are five elementary schools, but in the next decade, there will be more than 35. Today, Irvine has one middle school. Ten years from now, there will be more than ten. Today, only one high school. In ten years, more than five. The University of California at Irvine has more land than any other university in California and is one of the fastest growing universities in the country. That's what's planned for this land that was once a part of the Irvine Ranch. The people are coming and the plans are being made. The Southwest Conference, though, has been planning, too. We also saw the potential in Irvine. This is to be a key city between Los Angeles and San Diego. We plan for our church in Irvine to be one of our great churches. That's why, in the fall of 1970, we asked Reverend Richard Samuelson to become the pastor. A group of believers has been growing ever since. Church services began in an elementary school in January of 1971, and in August of 72, the church moved to this large junior high school where they meet each Sunday morning. Today, a fully staffed Sunday school faithfully teaches the Word each week. Here, the four- and five-year-old department is giving their offerings so that they might have a church building someday. The primary class is fortunate enough to have a man teacher. The people in the church have a real burden for their children and youth. The teachers study and prepare, so each class time is interesting and meaningful. The adult class is growing, even though 15 other adults are teaching elsewhere in the Sunday school. The worship service has be been growing continually in the past two and one half years. This service has grown from 17 to an average of 140. The membership has grown to more than 80. The work has begun. The foundation has been laid. The future is bright. We can see why the people are excited. We're excited too. We don't want to turn back. Now is the time to advance. Now is the time to buy land and build a building. 
The cost will be great. Land is now between fifty-five and sixty-five thousand dollars per acre. Yet the Lord needs a strong witness in what is going to be a great city. Now there are only three other churches in Irvine, and it looks as though it will be impossible for other churches to buy land there. These people in Irvine are praying that the conference will help them continue what we ask them to start. They need land and a building now. Let's pray with these people. On faith, they have asked the Irvine Company to locate land for them. By faith, they are asking God for great and mighty things. Moreno Valley is located near the intersections of highways 60, 395, and 91, about 12 miles southeast of the city of Riverside, California. Gateway to Lake Paris, Moreno Valley includes the communities of Sunnymead, Edgemont, Moreno, and Paris. It is 63 miles from downtown Los Angeles and 90 miles from San Diego. It is the home of the University of California Experimental Farm and adjacent to the March Air Force Base. This is the headquarters for the 15th Air Force and the 22nd Bomb Wing and one of the most important bases of the Strategic Air Command. Riverside International Raceway, one of the great raceways in the United States, is located here. Evangelist Bob Harrington recently conducted a week-long evangelistic crusade in these facilities. Lake Paris is the termination of a 444-mile waterway from the Feather River. It will have 2,370 surface acres of water and a shoreline of almost 10 miles. It is designed as a showcase of the California State Recreational Park System and will be the largest water recreation area in the entire Southwest. This is the outside view of the dam section with a fleet of earth moving equipment at work daily in the construction project. Governor Reagan was here last May and turned the faucet to start this spectacular flow of water. Three million visitors are expected each year who will generate one and a half million dollars in annual spending. To the surrounding communities, of course, this means more business, more jobs, new services, and thousands of new residential units. The water is flowing to the lake, and the community has already experienced a continually increasing momentum of expansion. Apartments and condominiums are replacing open fields. Tracts of homes are being developed. Recent construction totaled $29 million. Current master plan provides for several arterial highways. This is a factory which builds mobile homes. There are 1,604 acres zoned for industrial purposes. Currently there are 13 manufacturers in Moreno Valley. The largest industry is the building of recreational vehicles and allied supplies. March Air Force Base employs 1,229 civilians. Moreno Valley School District has 500 employees. Pastors and lay leaders from several of our Southwest Conference East Area Churches worked with our District Missions Director to start a new extension church in this community. Public Sunday services began in this elementary school on August 12. The one child in the preschool department has now increased to five. Mrs. Virginia Patterson is the well-qualified teacher for this department. Janie McCook teaches the primary age. Several of the children who attend have never been in Sunday school before. Everett McCook leads the junior department. Although there were no conference families in the area when the work was started, the Lord provided local Christians to be involved from the first Sunday. Every position in the Sunday school except two is filled by local people. One of the greatest encouragements to the work has been the coming of Jerry Christensen from Whittier Area Fellowship to play the piano and teach the high school department. Jerry drives 100 miles each Sunday for this ministry for Christ. Prayer meeting, 
Bible studies and social activities were held in the homes of three different local Christian families. Here is Potluck Sunday dinner and planning session at the home of Mr. and Mrs. Larry Wood. Leon Lackey of the Grace Baptist Church of Riverside brings a vocal solo at the morning service in the school auditorium. He is typical of concerned helpers from the surrounding churches who have come to Moreno Valley week after week to assist in the mission work. The attendance has been averaging about 30 at the morning services. Offerings are about $100 per week. It is an eager, committed group who are ready to be led to a significant, fruitful ministry of reaching souls for Christ in this section of Riverside County. They are praying earnestly now for a pastor to lead the flock. Projected population estimates are for at least 200,000 people for this area. In contrast to most of our church extension fields, property is still at a reasonable price. Negotiations are now underway for the purchase of a beautiful five-acre site on the main street of the community for a price of $30,000. Another new church has been born. It needs the serious prayer support of God's people throughout our district. About 20 miles north of San Diego and 5 miles south of Escondido, along scenic Highway 395, is the beautiful community of Rancho Bernardo, California. Not too far in the past, this was a peaceful rural community with cattle grazing on the hillside and farmhands tending their crops nearby. The climate is ideal year-around. The scenery is attractive and restful with a backdrop of gently rolling hills. In the early 1960s, land developers arrived with the intention of making this exclusively a lovely retirement community. Retired people moved in from urban areas of California and from many other states across the nation. This retirement project was so successful that before long other developers came in and began to build housing and facilities for younger adults, families with children, and young couples. The newer developing areas of the community included villas, townhouses, apartments, condominiums, as well as single-family units. The present population is 10,000 with a projected population growth to 50,000 in the near future. The Rancho Bernardo community itself includes approximately 6,500 acres. Our conference church here also serves the Penasquitas area to the south with 12,000 acres and Poway to the east. The total present population of the three communities is 30,000. One of the reasons for the rapid growth is the coming of many industries to the area. Burroughs Corporation has a large plant here. The Mercado Shopping Center cost more than two million dollars to construct. Sony built its first United States factory in Rancho Bernardo. National Cash Register also has a large operation here. Hewlett Packard employs a large workforce. Allstate Insurance Company has built its regional offices in this area. These great industrial complexes are a vital part of the community enlargement. The Southwest Baptist Conference started an extension church in Rancho Bernardo in February of 1970. Reverend Michael Delamarian, Jr. began meeting in a home with one family. A month later, services were moved to the Swim and Tennis Club. The group was organized into a church on April 5, 1970, with 17 charter members. A year and a half later, meetings were transferred to the Westwood School. The program is somewhat unique in that three departments of children meet in the school classrooms at the same time the youth and adults meet in the school auditorium for a combined teaching and worship service. The nursery and preschool area is well cared for as seen in this picture. Mrs. Eleanor Delamarian, wife of the pastor, leads the primary department. Enthusiasm runs high with this age children as they learn the stories from the Word of God. Mrs. Edith Murphy works with junior boys and girls. This is a particularly important age for personal decisions. A number of these juniors have received Christ as Savior through the ministry of this extension church. 
It is important not only to lead a child to Christ, but to give him opportunity to grow and become involved in the things of the Lord. Sharing a knowledge of God's Word and being able to express one's personal spiritual experience is an important aspect of home missionary work. The youth and adults meet in the school auditorium. The combined service includes a Bible lesson, often illustrated with the use of an overhead projector, as well as a worship message. Pastor Delamarian is especially gifted in communicating to young people. A Bible study for youth is conducted on Thursday nights with an average attendance of 30. Don Thomas leads the congregational singing in the worship services. A contributing factor in the growth of the church has been a Wednesday night youth outreach program in which about 60 young people are involved. Five young people recently left Rancho Bernardo to enroll in Bible schools. Most of these had recently accepted Christ through the ministry of this church. The membership has now grown to 60. The average Sunday morning attendance is about 120. It has been a happy and encouraging growth. But what happens next? Where do we go from here? The pastor and people will tell you of a desperate, urgent need for a building of their own. Many feel that further growth and the ability to meet the great missionary opportunity in this dynamic community is dependent on the use of their own facilities in the near future. A great problem facing this small group has been the impossibility of purchasing land for a church site. Just recently, an opportunity opened up to acquire six acres of land in a choice location on a hill just off Highway 395 at a cost of $90,000. Believing this to be an answer to their prayers of several months, they stepped out on faith and made a down payment of $5,000 and put this land in escrow. Just to the south of this excellent location, a large shopping center is already under construction. Visible from the freeway and from the whole north end of the community, the place has great advantages in ministering to this community. Thousands have come to Rancho Bernardo. Many more thousands will come soon. This pastor and his flock need a home base on this hill from which to reach out with the gospel of Christ. A great and effectual door is opened. Lost souls are waiting to hear of Christ's redeeming love. Praise God for answered prayers and many wonderful victories just past. Pray for a great outpouring of God's Spirit for the tasks just ahead. San Diegans can take a trip to the Holy Land without leaving the city limits. Now, of course, this is not the Israel or Palestine Holy Land, but a community called Tierra Santa, which is the Spanish name meaning Holy Land. About two miles north of Interstate 8, just off Murphy Canyon Road, is Tierra Santa Boulevard. Tierra Santa is a part of the general plan for the city of San Diego known as the Elliott Community Plan. Camp Elliott was established in 1941 when the United States government acquired 27,700 acres of land for a marine training camp area. In 1961, approximately one half of Camp Elliott was declared surplus by the Navy. The following year, the city of San Diego acquired several park sites, major street rights of way, a fire station, and a library site. The San Diego Unified School District also obtained several school sites. The master plan of development was begun. The planning area encompasses approximately 10,000 acres and includes the Navy housing section which is located at the western boundary of the area. A major advantage of the Elliott Tierra Santa community is its central location within the San Diego metropolitan area. Regional shopping facilities are located to the southwest in Mission Valley. Downtown San Diego is seven miles to the south, and the Pacific Ocean and Mission Bay are less than eight miles to the west. A major land development firm, the Christiana Corporation, has purchased several thousand acres of land. This company has already constructed several types of residential development. The general plan adopted for the city of San Diego states a need must be anticipated for a park and recreation system adequate to meet the need of residents and visitors. The western portion of the planned area is characterized by rolling mesas. 
From west to east, the land gradually rises and culminates with Fortuna Mountain, approaching an elevation of 1,300 feet. Residential building has had the top priority in the Ter Tierra Santa area in these early months. However, in the weeks immediately ahead, shopping centers, business, and community buildings will be springing up. In the early stages of development, there were only these temporary movable school facilities. However, a new elementary school is now being completed which houses 480 students. Driving or walking about in this new community, one senses the atmosphere of exploding growth and progress. As of 1967, San Diego was the nation's 15th largest city with a population of 670,000. It is anticipated that by 1985 it will grow to 1,096,000 people. San Diego is currently increasing at the rate of 31,500 per year. The earth-moving machines roar and rumble. The contour of hills, mesas, and canyons give way to streets, parks, schools, businesses, and houses. Note the armada of huge bulldozers in the background of this picture. Row upon row of houses appear almost overnight. Single-family residences, villas, townhouses, condominiums, they come in various and assorted sizes and prices, but they all bring people, and people is what it's all about. Something is missing so far in Tierra Santa. Schools, businesses, parks, libraries, houses. But where are the churches? So far there are none and with the exception of property having been purchased for a Mormon church, apparently there are no plans for any. A steering committee of San Diego Conference pastors and laymen have been working with the Church Extension Department of the Southwest Baptist Conference. We were able to secure this beautiful three-acre site on Tierra Santa Boulevard on a hill in the very heart of this dynamic community. The next most urgent need was for a man of God to pioneer this great missionary challenge. Pastor Glenn Anderson, formerly pastor of a church of over a thousand members in Northern California, will be arriving in San Diego on November 1 to take up this ministry. There has been no salary guarantee for Pastor Anderson. He is coming at the invitation of the San Diego pastors and the District Board of Missions as a step of faith, believing that God will supply his material needs. Pastors and delegates from seven San Diego Conference churches met on a Sunday afternoon to have a prayer time on this beautiful site. This missionary project, combined with the Rancho Bernardo Extension Church, is missionary launch project number two. Cost of this church site is $100,000. As a group of God's people, we are praying together and trusting that as God has opened this tremendous opportunity, he will lay it on the hearts of his people to provide the funds for this urgent need. 53,000 people are coming soon to Tierra Santa. Not one church is yet here for the gospel of Jesus Christ. We claim this hillside as a great focal center from which thousands of people will be reached for the Savior.